Hey, it's me, Artie, from Real Estate by Bike, your favorite hungry real estate agent. And today we're gonna look at the five best hidden gem eateries in the east end of Toronto. Are you ready? Because I am. Let's go. Ah. Come on. Number one on the list, without a doubt, is Hastings Snack Bar. It's an authentic Polish little diner run by Anya. She makes the most amazing soul food you can ever eat in your life. So let's go. Number one. This is it. This is the beautiful, whimsical little diner. Authentic food, all made by Anya and Petra in the front of the house. They make lovely coffees. They have uh, homemade pierogies, cabbage rolls, bigos, soups, sausages, anything you can imagine. It's the best food without a doubt. Hastings Snack Bar is at the corner of Queen and Hastings. They're open for takeout right now during the shutdown, so you can call ahead or just come and wait a little bit and get it and eat it and bam. I'm about to chow down to this amazing meal. It's called the Hungry Tata, which translates to Hungry Father. It comes with cabbage roll, usually kielbasa, but I got the uh, potato pancakes, bigos, and homemade fresh pierogi. She makes them herself. This is incredible. I'm sitting in their lovely award-winning garden. Let's eat. <music> The best. My favorite place in all of Toronto to eat. But don't tell anyone, because I don't want to be lineups next time I come. Shh. Anyways, all their information and hours and menu is in the link, in the description, in the link, description, in the link below, whatever. You'll figure it out. Um, it is the best food, okay? Off to number two. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> What's up team? Number two on the list, Indian Spice Room. This place is at the corner of Queen and Broadview and it's about the size of my wingspan. It's very small but very packs a good tasteful punch of nice Indian food. Let's go. This is the Maisa Masala Dosa, what they're known for. It's amazing, big, wicked, awesome moon thing with comes with chutneys and curries. Ah, uh, I'm excited for this, are you? Because I am. Oh, a little, little dosa, a little chutney. Oh, ready? Here we go. Mmm. Yes. Okay. Well, let me go away. Number three. Well, here's the problem is there's, they're next to each other. So this is like three and a half. The Caribbean Dutch Pot, which is an amazing place for Caribbean food and jerk place. And we have off the hook on this side. So when you get here, you're kind of like, I don't know what to eat. And it's like whatever mood you're in. So Caribbean food and jerk or fish and chips. I think these guys do an amazing veggie version of fish and chips too. So I don't know. It's up to you. I'm going to try both. It's not like I've eaten enough food today. Let's do it. We're in the People's Caribbean Dutch Pot. My favorite Caribbean restaurant in Toronto. Here we are, this is Andrew, he's, he's the proprietor of this wonderful establishment. I just got a veggie roti, check it out. We're gonna scarf that down. Uh, all the link in the description below, and you'll find out how to get everything from here. It's wonderful, again, let's go eat this. All right, I got the roti from the People's Caribbean Dutch Pot. Now we're gonna get my, uh, what did I get? Cauliflower taco, let's do it. Let's try and scarf these down, I'm excited. That's spicy, Woo. spicy food. Woo. Shit. All right, so that was the People's Caribbean Dutch Pot and Off The Hook, both are Off The Hook. Check those out at Broadview and Danforth. Oh my God, 
Broadview and Danforth. Okay, let's continue to place number four. Let's go. We're gonna come here to Animal Liberation Kitchen and get a smoothie. They do awesome smoothies at 100 Broadview. It's like inside the building, hidden. So now you know where it is. Let's go in and get one. They do awesome pulled jackfruit sandwiches, which are to die for. Okay, let's go in. I got the green smoothie and the tropical. Lovely little smoothies. I just can't eat anymore. I love their mac and cheese and their pulled jackfruit is fantastic, but I just can't eat anymore. So I got these, both these. Mm. Great. Be sure in the description, their hours are very confusing right now and how to get in because it's a very hidden gem, like a, ah, it's a hidden gem, you see? So make sure to check the link in the description about their place and let's go to the next place, number five. Number five, last but not least on the list, is Surf the Greats. It is a surf shop and they do like coffees and smoothies, but the one food that they're known for is the acai bowls. It's like a Brazilian, uh, like a delicious dessert soup kind of thing, which is healthy. So let's eat that right now. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. Oh, that's it. That was number five. This is the last thing. So excited to eat this dessert soup, healthy soup bowl, acai bowl, also known as their drum and bassa. It's like a berry, Brazilian berry, healthy, nutty, awesome, fruity deliciousness. And I feel like I'm in the beach, even though I'm in an alleyway on, off of Carlaw. This place is great. It's got a great vibe and they do like surf lessons. They, they sell clothes and like coffees, everything. It's a really wonderful vibe. The owners, Antonio and Lucas, are lovely, lovely dudes and they, they go surf the greats. That's hence the name, surf the greats. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what else you think I missed or I should put in there, write in the comments below. And again, every place I've mentioned is uh, all their contact details are is in the description below. So please check it out and subscribe and have a good time. I'm gonna eat this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.